Now, this week's look at landscaping with your WSAZ lawn and landscape experts. Hi, I'm Michael Payne, and we are Brown Landscape Management. To those of you who are Brown Landscape Management customers, our guys appreciate you and take pride in the work that they've done on your property. And those who may not be Brown Landscape Management customers, our guys would love to have the opportunity to come to your property and give you outstanding work. Today I'd like to talk to you about lawn disease. Usually late June, we'll be speaking about brown patch or drought. But recently, we've went from a lot of rain to no rain, and now we're starting to get some moisture and humidity. So we're actually seeing stuff that we usually see in early May or sometimes late October. Another thing that we're noticing is lawn rust. What that is, is the tips of your grass are starting to turn brownish yellow and give your lawn discoloration. Other than the weather, some of the main things that can cause these diseases are improper mowing, mowing it too short, mowing it too often when it's not needed, improper watering, the moisture that we've got from the rain, like I said, the timing has not been great. If you are going to water your lawn, I highly recommend it in the early morning between the hours of four and seven. If you have an irrigation system and you notice we have rain in the forecast, you may want to shut it off for that day or turn it back because watering your lawn too much can actually cause just as much damage as not watering enough. Probably the number one thing that is against our lawns right now is compacted soil. Most of the soil in this area is clay, and when that clay gets dry, it does not allow that moisture that we receive to seep down into the soil to help the root systems of your grass. So what it does is it lays on top of the soil, and as soon as the humidity comes, that is the number one thing that is causing the funguses that you're noticing in your lawn. One thing that can help with a lawn fungus is a nitrogen-based fertilizer. Nitrogen is that first number on the three sets of number you see on the bag. Right now, Brown Landscape is using between 20 and 24% nitrogen to help your lawn recover and stay healthy for the summer months. Probably the number one thing you can do for a fungicide is actually go to your local hardware store or even Kenny Queens, go to the front desk, explain that you have a fungus in your lawn, and they'll be able to take you right to the fungicides that you can apply to your lawn. There are liquid fungicides and granular fungicides, and always remember, please read the label. Not enough is wasting your money, too much can be harmful. When you apply these, give it five to seven days and you should notice some results. If the weather continues to give us moisture at the wrong time of the day, you may notice that the fungicide may be helping, but you're still noticing it. Sometimes it will take two to three applications to completely cure your lawn. If you have any questions about what we spoke about today, feel free to scan this barcode, go to our website and sign up for a free estimate, or give our office a call at 606-928-0030. As always, we hope you have a wonderful weekend, and we'll see you next Friday.